Tonight, residents of the Oasis Mobile Home Park and Thermal continue their push for better living conditions. News Channel 3's Samantha Lomibau spoke with the county about their efforts during a community meeting. Last year, the county secured $30 million to fund the relocation of Oasis Mobile Home Park residents. Tonight, local leaders discuss the next steps in this process. Supervisor Manuel Perez and several families living in Oasis Mobile Home Park came together to talk about what's being done to relocate them. We need to gather their information, their concerns. We need to hear their voices. Uh, but at the same time, we need people to be realistic. And I need to, we need to be honest with people and be transparent with people. This is not going to happen overnight. On top of the $30 million in state funding, Perez said another $11 million will go towards infrastructure. Even if we wanted to move people out today, there's no housing for them to move into. And so, and the reason for that is because there's a lack of infrastructure. So we need to be realistic about that, and that's going to take time. As we've reported for years, many families have not had access to clean water, adding to hazardous living conditions. A survey reveals more than 80% of residents want to move elsewhere. I'm tired of having to buy things for my daughter so she can take a shower safely every single day. It's not right. Their job is to have clean water for us. For one resident, she's grown up in the Oasis Mobile Home Park for most of her life. She's fed up with the unsafe water in her home, especially after she said her daughter got sick after drinking it. I didn't shower her because I was scared, right? And I couldn't just go out because my mom was working and I just had to wait until she got better so I could go buy water and, you know, take her a shower and everything. She's added every year rent prices are rising and it's making it even more difficult to find a new place to live. We have to pay over a thousand dollars a month for a trailer that only has one bedroom, one bath. It's not right. I'm tired of this. She said she wants to see change for every family that's also going through this. We have problems and they have problems too. And if it's affecting their health too, I want them to get that help too. The county says it's the beginning of a long process to make sure those residents find safe housing. We're going to be building out uh, over the course of these next few years because it's going to take years and how much uh, money is going to go into all those efforts. The Housing Committee will meet on August 8th to discuss the next steps for Oasis residents. In Thermal, Samantha Mebao, News Channel 3.